The ancient city of Megiddo strategically sits in the Jezreel Valley that runs right across the land of Israel, connecting the Mediterranean Sea in the west to the Jordan River in the east, a giant natural highway. It also intersects with several north-south trade routes, so whoever controls Megiddo can exert widespread power over the trade and warfare of the land. Famously, Pharaoh of Egypt Tutmos III said that capturing Megiddo was as good as capturing 1,000 cities. From all the levels of destruction at the city, it's clear that many other leaders felt the same way. In fact, the reason Megiddo is such a large hill today is due to the city being destroyed and rebuilt so many times. The newer levels were built right on top of the destroyed layers. From what archaeologists can reconstruct, Megiddo was under Egyptian control until some point during the biblical time period of the Judges. By the time King Solomon came to the throne, Megiddo was one of his building projects. He fortified the city's walls and installed one of his famous six-chambered gates. After the Kingdom of Israel split under Solomon's son Rehoboam, the fate of Megiddo was to be conquered and reconquered by nations vying for control. But there is one incident that stands out, the death of King Josiah. The once dominant nation of Assyria was struggling to hold off the growing power of Babylon. Egypt was marching up through Judah to help Assyria. But Josiah decided to stand in the way. At Megiddo, Josiah was killed in battle. He was the last king in the line of David who rose to the throne without foreign invention, and he lost his life here. Biblical prophecy says that one day the Messiah will win another battle here and usher back the days of David's throne.